Hey guys, Dr. Steve here, back with another episode of Core Wellness TV, and I need to make a theme song, don't I? We've played around with Living On Center, Core Wellness TV. I think that's short enough, right? What do you guys think about that? Does that sound okay? Or if you got any other ideas, <laughs> let me know, all right? Anyway, um, we are, uh, today is, we're going to, I want to talk about a little bit about, um, direct you to some old things. I'm not going to do another snow shoveling post. I've done like three or four of those. So I'm going to direct you back to those. If you go to gettoyourcore.com and put in a uh, hip hinge or snow shovel, it'll bring up the, the, the proper mechanics for shoveling without injuring your discs. There's going to be a lot of people, especially here around the Midwest. I know in, uh, South central, you know, central Kentucky and, and, uh, here in Indiana, we're supposed to get you know another eight to twelve inches or something like that. So anyway, so go back and review those and, and just real short in a short conversation. It's all about the hip hinge. You don't want to bend and round your back when you do it. Just keep your butt out, please. That's the fundamentals of it. But there's more, and so go check that out. I'll put some links down below here on the blog post. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to get across was I was at the gym the other day. And I was observing a personal training session, okay? And sometimes, you know, I, I love watching people move, right? It's, I'm a movement geek, I'll call myself. And I love watching people move, but I hate watching people move when they're hurting themselves. But in this case, this trainer was actually trying to get them to do a, a very uh, simple thing, but she could, I was, it was obvious that she wasn't getting it across. And here's what I mean. So she had her taken a, a band, and she wanted her to practice getting strong at the ability to pull back without bending the elbow okay so she was just trying to teach her scapular retraction and stability and no and so she demonstrated it really nicely she took a band and she pulled back using the shoulder blade to pull rather than using the arm to pull okay so this is a very important thing especially if you do pulling stuff like here start a lawnmower you know you don't want to start it like this you want to start it like this with the shoulder blade coming down now whenever she turned it over to the to the client she took it and she just couldn't figure out like there's an amnesia of how to do that and you could see the the trainer was trying to cure and tell them to do and she still just wasn't getting it and here's my point about this is that it's really tough to rewire a movement program into your brain from a man-made perspective meaning you can't be cued like no just take your shoulder blade and pull it down right that's an external cue and the brain's really not getting a hold of that so so the first thing that this person should learn if I took this person I would have her learn how to properly let the shoulder blade drop I mean she has to feel that position to begin with you can't just put somebody into a, a movement pattern when they don't have the fundamental postural statics does that make sense so the first thing that this person would need to know is how to create a low rib cage because the lowest possible position of the rib cage creates the anchor because the, the shoulder blade anchors to the rib cage okay and so by anchoring the rib cage down and learning how to find the lowest expiratory position just try that for me breathe in and breathe all your air out and allow your ribs to fall allow your ribs to fall keep finding that lowest expiratory position now you're in a place where if you just imagine gently pushing away from something like a baby would push away from the ground to get upright which is what this I've been teaching about forever right for the last six seven eight years online teaching how to activate that push away intention and that push away intention automatically drops everything where it's supposed to go okay and so that's the, the two-step process finding the lowest expiratory position and then from that position imagine pushing away from something pushing away from something and you can even use your elbow imagine pushing away from your elbow like if you're laying on the floor and you're pushing yourself up and you should feel that automatic downward rotation of the shoulder blade happen now if this person wants to train a pulling maneuver 
she knows where, what that feels like. She has the, the movement map in her mind, in her brain. And that's what this, that's what we're doing is we're just remapping programs. And these are these programs that are, that come on from neural developmental push away stuff, all that, that's already in there. That's just kind of a reawakening process. You went through that already from zero to four years old. So getting into that system. So lowest expiratory position and the gentle intention of pushing away will allow everything to go to its more natural place. So, uh, if you're a trainer, if you're someone who's teaching people movement patterns, make sure they always have this thing first, right? We call it the Do This First program. That's what the Core Wellness Institute is all about. That's what we teach. And we are reopening that soon. And by the way, um, uh, if you get on the early bird list for that, I'm going to, I'm sending out a sneak peek. And what I did is I, is I did a, like an anatomy tutorial of what's happening really whenever you turn on this organic posture. So I broke down and showed you the importance of which muscles are supposed to work. So you have a kind of an inside out look at what's supposed to be happening when you create effortless uprighting. And that's really what it's called. It's effortless uprighting because it shouldn't be something where you teach, have to teach, okay, this back, this tucked pull your belly button in and piece part that that's called that's what I call um, synthetic or man-made postural adjustments and they don't stick because they make people hurt right so uh, anyway so I when you get on the early bird list there I'm gonna send you uh, a link to it's you're gonna take you inside the core wellness Institute coaching course or training program and I'm gonna I've lifted the permissions on that one post that I'll give you a special link to. And then you can also uh, ask me any questions you want in that period of time. And so that'll be open until the enrollment uh, is over. And that's gonna be happening within the next week or so. So uh, make sure you check that out while you can. Just go to reversecpsnow.com and there's a, uh, a form there to get on the early bird list. And it's, uh, like I said, the whole course is just about reawakening that internal spiral of power that's already within you for that effortless weightless feeling okay cool so you guys have any questions about this or you have any comments about uh, the way it feels whenever you do this or have any questions like in troubleshooting uh, make sure you visit at the blog at the description if you're watching this on YouTube it's in the description box down below and uh, otherwise guys I'll uh, see you soon uh, keep get out get outside keep moving uh, keep pushing away right and keep uh, recycling gravity because that's what it's all about is when the gravity that comes through us we need to take it and recycle it and use it for our own power and our own spring if we let it get us it wears us out as soon as you start drawing forward a little bit it starts grabbing you and it keeps pulling you down and it's not going to stop unless you put out a spiral against it <laughs> okay all right guys see you later bye bye